This video shows segments of recordings taken during approximately 20 daily, one-hour training sessions. During each session, a young raccoon was placed near a wooden bank in an enclosed arena. The training objective was to entice the young raccoon to pick up a red poker chip and then deposit the poker chip into a slot in the bank. Two 10-week-old raccoons, Stinky and Scampy, served as subjects. During the course of a four-week training period, the raccoons were awarded with a morsel of shrimp for picking up the red poker chip. This was easily learned. Our intention was to require more of them as training progressed so they would receive the morsel of shrimp for picking up the coin, carrying the coin to the bank, and depositing the coin into the bank. They quickly figured out that picking up the red poker chip was promptly rewarded with a morsel of shrimp, but after a few pairings of the poker chip with the shrimp reward, the raccoons began to have problems. They began to lick, gnaw, chew, and play with the poker chip, sometimes endlessly, so that few poker chips were deposited in the bank. This resulted in the loss of most of the available food rewards. To remedy the situation, the slot in the bank was altered in several steps into an upside down T into a larger square hole and finally into a larger square hole with angled ramps so that merely touching the poker chip placed on the ramp would roll the chip into the hole, dropping it into the bank. All of this was to no avail. The raccoons were not happy to see the poker chip slide into the hole and drop into the bank, even though this immediately resulted in the oh, payment of the go. shrimp reward. Instead, upon seeing the poker right. chip resting on the ramp, they removed it from the ramp, rescued it from the sliding into the hole, and began to play with it. Poker chips that were directly deposited in the bank by the camera crew to give the raccoons an idea of what they should do were promptly removed from the bank to be played with. After several additional weeks, with no discernible progress, we were forced to give up. The raccoons taught us a lesson. They taught us that only a few pairings of the red poker chip with the shrimp reward were sufficient to cause the raccoons to form an association between the chip and the food. They now behave toward the red poker chip as though it were food. They approached the chip, picked up the chip, and placed the chip into their mouths, licking, gnawing, chewing, and rubbing and hoarding the chip as though it were actually food. They did this even though the behavior served no purpose other than to reduce dramatically the number of food rewards that the raccoons would receive during the training session. Scientists call this type of behavior sign tracking. Sign tracking is important because it provides us with a way of understanding the conditions under which behavior escapes self-control and defies self-will. 